So the exhibition begins with a series of self-portraits which um, survey his early career and a few crucial episodes in his life. So um, his move from Barcelona to Paris, but also I think what's more interesting is the way that he begins to experiment with both style and identity. What's particularly interesting is the head, the face, which again is um, irrefutably Picasso, also draws from Iberian sculpture, and that was something that would go on to influence the Demoiselle d'Avignon, so the way that you have these rather simplified, mask-like features. I think another thing that's interesting about this work is that Picasso is painting himself here very much as a painter, the fact that he's clenching a palette, which you see here, that he's wearing this very simple um, workman's jerkin. He's not trying to depict himself as a refined individual, but rather as a working man. And so it shows, in a way, his struggle at the time to establish himself. So this is one of the final works in the exhibition. Um, obviously, it's painted towards the end of Picasso's life. It's an example of his so-called late style. But I think the thing to say about this work is that here you see two things, one of which is Picasso confronting his own mortality, but also doing something he did really in an increasing way over the last 20 years, which is to um, engage with or compare himself or even compete with the old masters. So this is actually a nod to um, Rembrandt's self-portraits in the Frick Collection in New York, on the one hand, but it has some other references too. The straw hat, which you see um, painted in such a loose style here, is a nod to Van Gogh, another um, artist that Picasso admired. So what he's doing is very um, cleverly putting himself as part of this grand tradition. So this is a drawing that Picasso made in the final few months of his life, which on the one hand is childlike. It's childlike both in terms of execution and also medium, the fact that it's using pencil and crayon. But on the other, of course, it's a memento mori. It's Picasso depicting himself as a skull, as a death's head. And this friend said that when Picasso showed him this work, he understood that he was preparing himself for the inevitable. And I think what's extraordinary about it isn't just the simplicity and the skill with which Picasso is depicting himself, but it's that raw, brutal honesty about what's to come. Mm -hmm.